Yeah, joining us on the Circle Couch now is a girl who has had quite a few of her own birthday wishes granted this year. It's Natalie um, from, sorry, I left, I practiced and now I'm really embarrassed. That's really good actually. Eleftheriatus. Thank you. So sorry. <laughs> My mum is cringing right now. <laughs> Natalie won Best Actor at the Cannes Independent Film Festival for her role as a sex worker in the film Birthday. It's a film that she also produced. Welcome and apologies Thank you. for getting that. Oh, that's quite all right. I'm sure it's not the first time. Now, tell us about this film. Mm -hmm. It's called Birthday and it's about a sex worker in a brothel and it's it set is. over one day. Yeah, it's set on her 25th birthday. Yeah. So essentially what we're looking at is um, the idea that um, everybody deserves to feel special on their birthday and feel loved. And this particular young lady is also an aspiring writer, which you start to find out as the movie goes on. Um, but she doesn't really get much opportunity to, I guess, feel um, celebrated and special or for anybody to even know about her secret kind of passion. Mm. And what happens in, instead is that she spends most of her day kind of providing counsel, which is what sex work has sort of become these days as more and more people are sort of looking for love more than sex. And that's what really the premise of our film, that's what we're exploring. And Natalie, I watched the film mm -hmm. and you were fantastic. Oh, and thank let's, you. Um, while we're talking to you, let's have a, a look at um, you in the film. It's fabulous. Um, what did you do to get inside the head of your character in terms of a sex worker? Oh, look, we actually did a lot of research. Um, we, myself and Kesti Marassi, who's one of our other lead actresses, and Ra Chapman all used to visit um, brothels in Melbourne. We talked to the girls and sometimes boys, depending on where we went, um, about basically what kind of what was the emotional experience for them more than anything, because it's very easy to sort of think about the practicality of it or the logistics mm. of it, but to understand what happens for them on an emotional level is quite a different thing. Um, and it was. Very very interesting journey that way. It sort of um, went from, I guess, uh, we all felt a little bit kind of, uh, not uncomfortable, but just unsure about what to expect. And then this one lady said this amazing thing to me about personal space. And she was talking about the fact that a lot of um, a lot of people will be very aware when someone enters their personal space. You know that um, if someone sits right next to you, you you become that's too close. And they said, well, for us, really, what that is, that personal space is this little tiny piece of us. It's about this big, and it just lives right in here. And that's the bit that no one can touch. And so all of a sudden, everything else is is available to connect with and to be intimate with. And once I got that kind of in, in my head and understood that, it changed my entire outlook on this role. So, wow. wow. Yeah. Tell me about the sort of people that you met, because we have this sort of idea of sex workers as, as people trying to feed a heroin. Well, that's my, my understanding this, often, is that people yeah. trying to feed a heroin addict. Yeah. Or put, pay their way through uni. Was that yeah. the sort of people that you met? Look, there's different... Um, there's not to sort of sound classist about it, but there's different levels, if you like. Mm. There's, um, there's some women who are really struggling. A lot of the time they're supporting families. They've made this choice because they have to. And a lot of them are, um, are, are sort of also having to... They, they may have a drug habit or have some situation that they found themselves in. But most of the women we spoke to are actually sort of... Um, they were law students, social workers, nurses, people that ironically actually work in service or in some kind of counselling, if you like, right. um, and just found that this was a way that they could contribute that they felt good about. And m more and more um, I started to discover that they're very intelligent, articulate uh, women and it's, it was a very interesting thing. It was a very interesting thing to look into. Let's talk about not only do you star in the film, mm -hmm. um, you're also the producer the film and this is independently financed. Why it did is. you decide to go down go down that track? Well, um, we this is actually our writer director Jay Harkness' second feature, and on his first feature he he did have some government support and, and went down that path. It took him quite a long time to get the film made in the end, and this was a story that was very precious to him. Um, it was precious to me because I'd been involved in the play which it was before it was made into a film, and I guess we really wanted to sort of retain the integrity of the story and and um, and make sure that th what we set out to make was what ended up on the screen and uh, there's a lot of stories about that not happening so much these days in the industry and and in doing it in sort of independently financing and and maintaining that creative control we've ended up with a product that we're very proud of and very excited about and and so is the rest of the world which is wonderful it is it was great to see the accolades you got at the current independent film Thank festival you. including winning best actor how did that feel <laughs> Thank for you, you? Um, well I was actually it's one of those things where I'd been wearing my, I talk about my hats, I've got my producer hat and my acting hat and um, I'd been wearing my producer hat for, for basically the entire trip 
and um, that was sort of the uh, the first opportunity I'd had to really take that off. And I was sitting down at breakfast with um, with Jay Harkness and with Ra Chapman, one of our other actresses, and um, I actually found out from a Google alert. Which, <laughs> yeah, that's right, people. I have my own name on Google alert. But Congratulations! Okay. <laughs> Please thank, thank Natalie Elliot Thank you.